Now, it has been some time since my last video. The main reason, the weather's been absolutely atrocious. I went over to Vancouver Island, spent some time with Adam Gibbs. I had a great time there. It was nice to have a laugh, catch up with Adam and grab some images along the way. Now, the images I got there, I was really pleased with them. It was nice to capture some of that fall colour. Now, as for fall colour on mainland itself, we did get it, but not long after I got back from Vancouver Island, the rains came, the wind came and blew it all away, so it didn't last for long. Now, not only that, when we did get good conditions, I've got a normal job, so I had to go to work, and it's quite frustrating when you're doing everyday job and you're trying to put videos together uh, for people to view. You get the good conditions, but it always seems to run you that work. Now, last week, it was the total opposite. Now, you'll know from my last videos, I hate those blue sky days when it's really harsh light and it's bright and it doesn't make for the images that I want to capture. So I came to this location because it's nice and close where I live. It's only a 40 minute drive. I had a look about once that sun came up. I was kind of feeling uninspired, so I left and I went back home. So the location I'm at today, I'm at Golden Ears Provincial Park. I've been here many a time in the past. It is pouring with rain today from time to time, so I know there's a good chance that there isn't going to be that long a dry period. So I wanted to come here because I know there's still colour here. We've lost the colour in the trees. The trees have all turned now. A lot of those leaves have fallen. And in this part of the forest that I'm in, it's mainly evergreens. But what I'll be looking for today is I'll be going in closer to the forest floor trying to capture some of this colour, trying to look for compositions. Now, like I said, it's going to be a struggle. I've been here so many times, but there's always an image to capture. So I am going to try my best to find a couple of images, at least in here, before the heavens open again. It has started to rain again, unfortunately. But it's great to be back out and we'll see what we can capture today. And it's just nice to be able to bring you another video. Because I have been so many times, I want to try and make sure that I come up with something different to what I've photographed in the past. And that's what you've got to do when you return to areas. You know, sometimes it's the conditions will dictate what you photograph. Like today, it's very murky, it's very rainy. So I want to look closer to the floor and I want to try and incorporate and look for colour uh, because that's where the images are today you know we've got no light in the trees above there's no light on the mosses you know you remember on vancouver island when you get those mosses backlit really makes for some nice images now i've came across this little area here now i'm actually not that far from the car which is a good thing because if this rain gets too heavy it means i can go and sit it out and wait in the car but the thing i like about this composition here is we've got these old uh, part of a trunk here. There's one over to your left hand side and there's one here to my right hand side and they're both leaning in so it draws your eye into where I want the viewer's attention to go to and what I like about this shot I love this fern here to the left hand side. It's a lovely yellow colour. It really is nice. It's nice contrast against the orange fern behind it so just some nice difference. It really separates uh, with the contrasting colour there. And we've got some lovely green mosses along the forest floor. And then we've got these little branches in here and they've just got some mosses hanging off. I think it just really makes for a nice image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put the 35 mil on, uh, go in a bit closer, use these uh, logs either side to frame the image. And then you're gonna have this nice area of interest in the middle. Now, even though we've got no uh, sunlight or dramatic light in the trees above we're still getting some nice ambient light from the sky coming in highlighting these mosses highlighting these ferns now the problem i'm up against is we're getting quite a lot of movement here uh, because it's raining so every time we get raindrops on the ferns itself they are moving about so what i'm going to do so i can gain a quick enough shutter speed I'm actually going to shoot it at f8 and I'm going to try and focus stack it 
that means I don't have to bump my ISO up too high. Uh, I think I've got my ISO at 320 at the moment, so that's uh, working out great. Now, at the moment, I'm getting one third of a second. Now I'm just going to have to play around with shutter speed and see which works. So I'm going to try this shot, uh, see if this rain stops and uh, see how it works out. But a nice first image and I'm, I think it'll turn out great because of all that fall colour on the ferns there. Now what I've decided to do, because I like this log so much, I've actually swapped out the lens. So I've put the 24mm 1.4 Sony G Master on. Now I do carry a couple of primes with us now and I'm really enjoying using the primes. Now the reason being, it makes us work harder when I'm looking for compositions. You know, you've got that fixed focal length, so you really do get to move about a lot more. You get low down, you get high up. Whereas when you've got a, a zoom, you t you've got tendency to stay in the same area and just zoom in and out on your shots. So with a prime, I find that you move about a lot more. So you're going to come across compositions that you wouldn't normally find. So that's why I'm really enjoying using the prime lenses. Now, like I said, it's going to be a simple composition, just like before. All I want to do is incorporate more into the shot. So that's why I put the 24mm on. It means I can include all this log that I like. I love the lean that you've got on it. So I'm going to grab this image. I'm going to same again. It's going to be F8. I'm going to focus stack it. I'm going to do some with the polarizer, some without the polarizer. See how they work out. Play around with shutter speeds and see if we get periods where the rain stops. So we'll see how this one works out and I'll put it on the screen above. The good news is the rain stopped for the time being. I don't know how long it's going to stop for. Now I've came further into the forest and I'm trying to look really close to the forest floor. And I want to try and get in close with the 24 mil to get a nice wide perspective on this forest floor with all this color that you can see behind us. Now the difference in the, the ferns this week compared to last week when I was here, the ferns are really wet. So they're looking quite dreary. And they actually, because they're all hanging over, they all come together. So it's just, you've got no separation with the ferns as such. But it's still creating colour and it's still adding colour to the scene itself. Now I came across this here. Love all these mosses on the floor. But we've got these branches. There's an old fallen trunk here. Um, and a log. And it's still got the branches coming off it. But they've been overtaken by the... The mosses from the forest floor and when you get up close with the 24 mil it really creates some nice depth in the image and it just spirals through the image so you've got this first leading part of a branch here with the moss and you've got another that loops over now you'll be able to see that i've managed to separate them i've made sure that i can separate them as much as i can and it'll lead through to the background now every now and again we've been getting some low cloud, we haven't at the moment, but the main area of interest that I want to capture here is these lovely branches going across the forest floor and then you're going to have this splash of colour in the background along with those trees. Now I've tried to separate the trees as much as I can. I have got a tree to the right hand side, it's on a slight angle, 
so that's going to anchor the right hand side of the image there is going to be a little bit of space at the bottom left uh, but it shouldn't be too bad i've tried to close that gap by shifting the camera more to the right now i've made sure not to take it too far right so i don't close these gaps and we'll see how it works out now I'll put the 24 mil on i'm using the polarizer because of the glare because of the rain and i'm getting round about a sixth of a second now because i'm close to this first uh, branch with the moss on i am going to try and focus stack it like earlier but it's got a bit brighter now so i'm getting away with f11 and it should be about two shots i might take three shots as usual just to edge my bets and if i need that third shot i can always use it so we'll get back to the camera we'll see how this rain goes you know it has stopped for the time being so i'm really grateful for that and uh, we'll capture this image so I'll put this image on the screen above and uh, hope you like it. I'm actually in the same location I wanted to try and get a different perspective on it because it's such a nice area and I'm really attracted to these mossy branches coming out the forest floor so I tried the first image we got nice and low down with the 24 mil on trying to create a journey through this scene so what I'm doing is I'm actually keeping the 24 mil on and I'm raise, raising my tripod up so I want to include more of this background. We're actually getting some, I don't know if it's low cloud or fog coming in, but there's a slight bit of atmosphere there. We've got no light, obviously, because it's raining on and off. Um, but you'll be able to see just out of nowhere, we've got a little bit of, a little bit of mist there. So I'm going to try for this image. So it's the same basis as before. All I'm doing is discarding a little bit more of that immediate foreground that I was including before. I've got the camera hired up so we can see a lot more of the colour in the mid-ground leading over to the background. Now I've also discarded the tree that we had on an angle before to the right hand side. I've discarded that so I've moved the camera over to the left but that means I've been able to incorporate this bit of a bush here that's got some moss on so it fills in that left hand side of the frame also including this little bit of fall colour here i'm actually going to get back to the camera and get this shot it's not much missed but it's something so i'll see if i can capture it So it did start to rain again, I had to go back to the car and that's a good thing about this location and that's why I picked it today because the, the car park's literally a few hundred yards away so it's great. Now I've came across this composition here that I like, um, try to simplify it as much as I can. Now the main attraction for us, what caught me eye was this fern. Uh, it's still very much alive, part of it's died off but it's adding colour to that fern itself and it's standing quite proud so it, it lifts up into the image but not only that we've got all these ferns that lead off towards the background there um, the background's nice and diffuse because there's a lot of low cloud there um, we've got some reflective light from the sky coming in so it's highlighting the areas that i want highlighted so the way i've put the image together uh, i needed something at the right hand side of the frame so 
I chose these three trees that you can see behind us. That's going to anchor the right hand side of the frame. Now I've been made sure, like I've said in the past, I was trying to separate them. So you've got separation between these two at the front and centered the one in the background in the center of these two trees. I don't want to focus stack the image. I just want to get it all in one shot. Now F11, focusing on the, the uh, fern in the foreground there. That's getting everything sharp that I want sharp. You'll be able to see it's raining again now. Um, and then it's just gonna fall off towards the background. There's not much interest in the very background itself. The main area of interest is this color and the trees. Pray that this rain stops, you'll be able to see the breeze has picked up now. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to get here. Now, when I came here last week, it was really bright. It was really sunny. But before that sun came up, I did manage to grab an image. So I'm also going to put that on the screen above. And I took some video of the composition that I was going for. Um, but I didn't hang around long because it was so bright. I was a bit uninspired. So that's why I headed back home. But I'm stuck with it today for whatever we get it's still a great morning i am going to be using a remote shutter the remote shutter works really well because i can i can trigger the shot straight away rather than having it on a two second timer so i'm going to get back and we'll try this shot and i'll put it on the screen above <laughs> you'll be able to hear you'll be able to see it's absolutely tipping it down with rain now luckily i managed to grab that shot back there just before the rain started now these are forecasts of high winds tomorrow and the following day so i think this is just the start of it you'll be able to see in the leaves there we're getting the wind already now it's been a great morning out it's just been nice to get back out and bring you guys another video it is a struggle for me at times because I work an everyday job, Monday to Friday, often the case, I get great weather through the week when I'm at work and on the weekend, it ends up like this. And that's how it's gone for the last few weeks. Ever since I got back from Vancouver Island, the weather's been atrocious every weekend. I have been getting out, but it just hasn't stayed nice long enough for us to get a video put together. But this morning it did, so I'm going to take that. But I am going to head back to the car and I'm going to pack up so if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. It really helps my channel out. If you haven't seen my channel before, hit the subscribe button. But from me, I'm in a wet golden East provincial park. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.